Okay guys, oh my gosh, it has started raining outside. I literally just got caught in the rain. We've gone from the hottest of the hot weather to storm, showers, lightning, thunder, all of that stuff. So if you hear a lot of rain, thunder claps, if you see flashes, that's what it is. Can't do nothing about it. So this week's new releases and sneak peeks, this is gonna be kind of short because there wasn't that many. There was not that many. And that's okay by me because I'm not around tomorrow to be able to edit. So I'm gonna have to do it today and I just don't have a lot of time on my hands. So I'm so happy that there's not that many to get through, but let's just get through them. Okay, so Kathleen Lights and Colourpop are collaborating again and they've come up with the Zodiac collection and this has an eyeshadow palette. It has two of the Super Shock highlighters. It also has two luxe lipsticks and it looks like liquid eyeshadows as well. The eyeshadow palette gives me the Makeup by Shayla vibes. I know they're not the exact same, but that was a colorful palette as well. And then you've got this one, which is also a colorful palette. So it's just giving me Makeup Shayla vibes. I like the, the palette. I really do like the palette. I'm especially feeling that turquoise in the bottom corner. Like that's, I feel like that's the color that's actually doing it for me. And to be fair, I kind of feel like those two blues are if you was to take those away it's pretty much like the pop effect it's nothing spectacular and special but those shades are definitely right up my alley again i don't think that i'm going to be able to get my hands on this because i can't really get color pop here in the uk and i'm really not really i'm really not looking to be spending coin on customs and stuff like i'm really not but congratulations to kathleen lights and her I don't even know what number collaboration this is at this point, but congratulations nonetheless. MAC are coming out with their Dazzle highlighters. Now these look really, really sparkly, like really glittery kind of thing. And the gold one is giving me Fenty Trophy Wife vibes. It's got that kind of hue, but the pink one is the one which is really piquing my interest. It's like, oh, these are so, that that is really, really pretty. You know I like me a pink, but these look like they're going to be hella, glittery and that's what I'm not here for I'm not into glittery highlighters but I could be wrong because to be fair I'm only seeing them in the pan I'm not seeing them in reality and I, I don't have a swatch of them but these are kind of pretty still it doesn't say here how much they are but um, regardless they are very very nice September Rose is coming out with the slush eyeshadow palette this is supposed to be inspired by slush drinks like slush puppies obviously they couldn't say slush puppies otherwise they'd probably be in a lot of, pro of problems and I really get the slush puppy vibe with this like those bold bright neon colors and i like the way that they have arranged this palette like they've got the pinks the oranges the yellow greens the blues and the purples like and it's going from light to dark i like the way that they arranged this <clears throat> I like to see colourful palettes arranged like this, like it makes sense because it's a ton of colour. You may not necessarily be using them all together, all at once, so it's just easy to be able to pick out what one you want because it's in, like you look for the colour family, so I like that. Now this is a UK based company, so it's $24.99, so that's in sterling, and it has 25 shades and a mirror. The thing that I don't like about it is the front cover. I don't have a picture of the front cover, but I did see it, and I wasn't that taken aback by it. Like what it has on the front is not the same as what is depicted on the inside, uh, but just, just search up um, September Rose Slush Eyeshadow Palette and you'll be able to see it. It's not all of that, but if you're not really taken aback by packaging it, this it just won't matter to you. But this is a beautiful palette, and this is the first time I've ever heard of September Rose, so I'll, I hope that the product itself is a good product, genuinely. Next, Kat Von D has come up with the Alchemist Mini. Now, I wasn't too sure whether or not it was just gonna be one shade, um, but it looks like it is, according to Trend Mood. So this is like a silvery, glittery kind of shade. If you were to have a look at the swatches next to, the swatches of the regular Alchemist highlighters, against this shade you'll see that there is a big difference and this one is 
hella glittery so for me it wouldn't be appealing because as i said i'm just not into glittery highlighters i prefer shimmery highlighters but the glitter it, it does nothing for me i just feel like it's just in the way it just get glitter gets everywhere i don't like glitter for highlighter sorry I'm, I'm just not into it but i'm sure there are people out there who really do like glitter and even though she's been going through quite a lot of controversy recently she still does have quite a large fan base so people will still be buying this juvia's place are coming out with a uk website and as as this video goes live it, the UK website will also be live. I a part of me kind of wishes that I had waited before buying the Afrique and the Warrior palettes because literally a couple of days later they announced this and the amount that it costs for me to ship the Warrior palette, the Afrique palette with shipping and customs fees, I could have purchased three Juvia's Place palettes on Beauty Bay with no shipping charges. So I wish I had waited, but um, it is what it is. But you know what? This also proves to me that they are doing hell of well because to be able to establish yourself in two countries, have two two sources of product shipment, that is amazing. Like one in the US, you've got one here in the UK as well. Like that's amazing. Not a lot of companies can do that. But this also goes to prove like, look at, look at how Colourpop has been around longer than Juvia's Place has and Juvia's Place have been able to to do this a lot quicker than Colourpop have and this is something that I've been complaining about Colourpop like I'd love for them to have a UK based website I'd love for them to have that so that I can get their stuff but they haven't yet done it but it just says to me if Juvius can do it then Colourpop can do it because Colourpop are coming out with stuff like bang 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 so they must have the money Juvius take their, take a little bit more time between each launch and look look at what they've achieved I see nothing but good things for Juvius like well done well to the done Kylie she has brought out her nice palette again now this was part of the Christmas collection from last year she had the naughty and nice palette and this was the nice palette and it, I remember the nice one had was white and it had um, silver stripes and now she's come back with it in under a year later and she's repackaged it and she's selling it again this to me feels like a cash grab this to me feels like she's so close to that billion dollar mark that let me just sell something but because she pushes out so much stuff they're running out of ideas so let's just repackage something that we know would sell because it was probably a good seller. It just feels to me like it's a cash grab. I'm not really feeling it. I like the packaging, don't get me wrong, but it's nothing spectacular. And I think that what it is as well, she knows that there are a lot of people who buy everything regardless. They buy, the, they've purchased the whole collection. She has a fan base. Even though the hype has died down, there is still, she's still in demand. So I, I just feel like she's bringing out so much stuff so quickly that and it's just because she wants to get that to that billion dollar mark that's just how i feel that's just how i feel so i ain't got nothing else to say on on that palette because i don't feel like it's even worth it pat mcgrath who is a billion dollar company has come out with 10 new matte trance lip shades which are 38 dollars each now considering that her lipsticks are 38 dollars each i'm not surprised that she is a billion dollar company these are more red berry and brownie nude i like them I can't deny it. I do actually like them. And even though I don't really like red, that bottom red is gorgeous. Like it's a deep blood red. It's, it's nice and it suits all three skin tones. It's really hard to find a red which I think suits deep, medium and fair skin tones. And that suits all three. It's like the perfect red for all, of, all three of those skin tones there. Like she did the damn thing with that. Like I even tonight but 38 dollars girl so okay yeah ambitious dry bar and Too faced have come out with this glitter spritzer to celebrate their 20th anniversary and it's like a gold and silver glitter spray for your hair and i think this is great for somebody who likes to party and likes to get a little bit buck wow but quite frankly 20 dollars for a bottle of glittery spray i'm just kind of side eyeing i really like the packaging but aside from that, I'm not really here for it. NARS are coming out with the Atomic Blonde Eye and Face Palette. It has four eyeshadows and a golden bronze shimmer. So it has four eyeshadows and is that a contour and a highlighter? Or a bronzer and a highlighter? The swatches look gorgeous. 
I think this is nice for somebody who likes to do the whole J-Lo glow kind of look. This is $59 for six shades. That's $59, yeah. Ugh, it's pretty, but I don't think it's $59 pretty. And to be fair, even though I haven't yet reached it, this is giving me Juvia's Warrior Palette vibes. Because when I look at that palette, because I've been waiting, I don't want to touch it until I do my review and my try on, right? But when I look at it, these are the kind of shades that are in that palette. So I just feel like, y'all just get the warrior palette save your point Givenchy are coming out with a pearly glow lotion and a compact cream SPF see I like skincare but I like affordable skincare I know that I can go to body shop and get some skincare I know that I can buy Palmer's cocoa butter and you know it's gonna do the job Givenchy is one of those brands which are just too astronomically priced for me to look at their skincare and say you know what that's what I want to invest in because I would rather spend that kind of money on the makeup rather than the skincare but that's just my personal preference I do like the packaging it's very very girly but very sleek and sophisticated at the same time I really like the the pale pink is gorgeous but I could not see myself buying Givenchy skincare I'm so sorry Kevin Aquan are coming out with their third art of sculpting and defining book and it has three sculpting shades two highlighters and an ombre blush um okay it's 59 dollars i would have expected it to be more considering the fact that it's kevin aquan but okay it's still it's still very high don't get me wrong it's still quite high but i'm i'm not really inspired by this I'm not inspired by it at all, unfortunately. I love the ombre blush. I think that's beautiful. I think they have a few different ones in the in their range. And now they're bringing one out in like a, an actual palette. It's very nice, but it's just it's just not necessary to have an ombre blush. Let's, let's be honest. It's nice to say, oh, look, I've got ombre blush. But then after that, the novelty wears out. So it's okay Kevin who is this fresh beauty I like the name of that fresh beauty that's that's a nice name for a beauty company they've come out with the sugar lip wonder drops and it's supposed to be like an exfoliator which softens and smooths dry flaky lips but this is 26 bucks when I can go to Lush and go get one of their sugar scrubs for what, five fifty or six pounds or some, something like that. I don't feel like I would need this. It's nice that it's in a little bottle and it has the little dropper. Cute, cute, cute. So she has, everyone's doing that whole thing on their face and on their lips and whatever. That's great. But it's not a necessity. I don't feel like it contributes toward what we're doing like the dropper does absolutely nothing doesn't contribute any it doesn't contribute anything so that's okay honey especially for 26 bucks you're kidding me kevin aquan again is coming out with the multi matte lip color i really like the two at the end like there's a there's like a blush pink one then there's a nudie one and then that dark red on the other end <sighs> Those are the three. Those are the three. I like the shades that they have chosen for this line. I think it's beautiful. And it comes with vitamin E infused in it, which helps to nourish the lips. These are $30 each. And lastly, Bad Gallery has come out with another one of her Kilowatt highlighters, them did. And she's collaborating with her foundation, Clara Lionel FDN. And this is called Diamond Boil Out. Oh, I like this and it's a silver highlighter I don't know anyone who's really gonna wear a silver highlighter they'll probably use it on their eyes they'll probably use it on their eyes yeah I don't I've never seen anyone wear a silver highlighter in my entire life see people wearing gold but I've never seen anyone wear a silver highlighter I like the print the stamp which is obviously the logo of her foundation when I say foundation I don't mean foundation I mean it's her charity kind of thing so i like it it's different i like that she likes to come out with different things it's it, it's nice it is very nice so it will be interesting to see how she uses it when she demonstrates it because i know she likes to demonstrate a lot of her products as she should because it's they're her product so it'll be interesting to see how she uses it when she does a demonstration so i'm gonna just sit back and wait for her to demonstrate it to us so out of everything what am i looking forward to just dubious place making their uk website it you know what everything's kind of clicked into place now because remember in one of my videos i was saying that 
it's really disappointing that Beauty Bay don't get Juvia's Place's stuff on time or quickly after the launch. It's like it'll be months and months after they, they launch a palette, that's when Beauty Bay will get it. But with other brands, they'll get their stuff to Beauty Bay literally like a week or two after they've launched it. But this kind of now kind of makes sense is because they always they probably always intended to make a UK website. And let's be fair, to do these kind of things, it doesn't happen overnight. It takes a lot of, a lot of time to develop and set things in stone so they were probably like just holding off a little bit so it kind of makes sense to me now but that's the only thing that i'm happy about and you know happy to see happen but aside from that the actual makeup itself there's nothing that has made me go wow yes i want it i want to get it i'm going to be waiting in line i'm going to be no noth nothing this this week and that's fine by me it just means i'm gonna have more money <laughs> anyway so let me know down below if there's anything that you are happy to see or you're going to grab or you're going to check out or you're going to check out reviews or whatever let me know if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe put me a notification as well and while you're there like watch about 4,000 hours worth of my content thank you and i'll see you in the next one bye